Oh, River! Tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Oh, River! What's up, bro? Zap. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? How you holding up? Been better. Lost your job? I know. Maybe? Probably not hard to tell. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh-huh. First, take a look. Hello, my name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. More dead Today's politicians. A Just watch it. Inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous hmm. abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car. Hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. The boy from the footage is LeVar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, LeVar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness. This Peter Pan a case of yours? Impossible. This uh, Peter Pan. The you know case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. So, what's the issue? What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy disappeared not long past and what you just saw the kid was wearing randy's shoes ah oh. oh, jesus tell me more randy's disappearance you know anything else my sister and i don't get along that well uh, i don't know much just wish i could have been there for her when she needed it most and what they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case more like a restraining order won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. And so far, Professor he Professor McGonagall? Wow! I can't believe she's here. <laughs> Wouldn't let it go if I were you. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. I'm sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. We can view it's his dream. Procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as BDs. Interesting. You got access to these dreams? Not yet. They keep them in the lab. Right? I have a suggestion, River. How about we park outside the place we need to be at in future? Is it, is it this joint? It's probably this joint. <laughs> okay. Got an appointment? Not exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh... Not through the main entrance. <gasps> We're gonna break the law? We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. Alrighty! Good thing I got that 12 tech. 
Anything to see in here? Okay, shouldn't be anyone inside. Ow. Teachings of the Temple excerpts. The welcome truth that sleep and death are twin sisters, beneficent, healing, and vivifying, is gradually making its way through the scientific as well as the religious world, bearing on its wings faith and trust in the fundamental lays of life which underlie all phenomena, and casting down forever the great Moloch of fear which stands at the gate of all men's minds, ready to devour each child of hope which has been conceived and born in the joy of life. Time and space are annihilated in dream life because of the rapid action of the energy of mind when freed from bonds of matter, and life in a state of a dream is a foretaste of what life may be when the coarser grades of matter which now hold the embryonic god-man in bondage are refined, and the artist oh, is We're gonna find this guff. brain dance. And look for a room where they edit the dreams of autistic kids. Oh, and remember, Peter Pan's real name is Anthony Harris. I. I just couldn't bring myself to keep reading that. It's just so fucking... <laughs> there. Take control of the computer. They definitely don't store any BDs in this area. That's a new one. The fuck? What am I getting stuck on? Oh, that. <laughs> No one here at all. Why couldn't we walk in through the front door then? Or we just didn't have the key to get in? I guess maybe it was locked? Studies that use brain imaging methodologies have shown a progressive reduction in brain volume, but a swelling kind of, shard, of. But it's blank. Keep looking. Of the ventricular system and the volume of the... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's a whole lot. Commonly feared numbers such as 4, 13, and 66 has grown to now officially include the number 91. While the phobias of other numbers have origins well studied by science, tetraphobia derives from the fact that Chinese words for death and 4 sound similar, we can only hypothesize about the rise of 91. Patients afflicted by a phobia of the number 91 often complain of the recurring nightmares in which a giant countdown reaches 91, then suddenly stops. When they attempt to restart the countdown, it transforms into a bright yellow board with vermin crawling all over it. This shared experience has already spawned unproven conspiracy theories, which among other things claim uh, that dreams are transmitted via either electromagnetic waves, the digitized minds of a mysterious Netrunner sect, rogue artificial intelligences, or classified nanochips installed by Night Corp agents. None of these outlandish ideas contain a grain of truth, of course, so what is, the, what is it that causes the phobia to manifest such intense reactions? That much yet remains unknown, but as so many scientists often claim, the truth is out there. So without full knowledge of the phobia's origin and its underlying factors, how can you treat it? Studies thus far have shown promising results for conditioning patients via induced dream states in which the number 91 is inverted to the number 19. Although this method remains in clinical trials, experts optimistic the 91% success rate will only continue to improve. <laughs> Small step for science, a giant leap for humankind. Good morning all, I'd like to congratulate our very own Dr. Yawen Packard on the recent strides she has made in the field of paediatric autism therapy. Her invaluable works paved the way for more effective therapy applications than established behavioural methods uh, and clearly surpassing all supportive methods and substantially building upon traditional approaches such as music therapy. I speak for all of us when I say we're extremely proud of Dr. Packard's scientific achievements, but also, more importantly, proud to see the huge inflow of warm letters from happy parents. That must be nice. Dear team, I'd like to beat around the bush as much as the next guy, but I'm afraid I don't have that luxury. First off, you all remember that framed quote I used to have in my office, never trust a person who's never tried to steal. Well, it seems someone took that sentiment too much to heart. Now don't panic, it wasn't the quote that was stolen, it's safely at home. Rather it appears a staff member has taken our neurotransmitter research files from the facility with the likely intent of selling them to a third party. As such, all lab employees will be required to take a polygraph before leaving the facility, led by our own Dr. Al Tolliver. If Al finds anything troubling from your tests, the next course of action would be termination, legal action or both. No jokes, I mean this in all seriousness. 
What if Dr. Al is the thief? Let me emphasize, do the polygraph before leaving work and you're free to get in your naps, showers, lap dances, or whatever else you people do in your off hours. Uh, project decisions. Based on the latest research on the subject, it appears the patient suffers from relapses of antisocial behaviors. The recommended treatment approach is a limited environmental stimulation and increased doses of neuroleptics. I'll remind you this is not an isolated case, but a fairly common problem among members of MaxTAC. The NCPD is pushing for more resources into cyberpsychosis research, but our facility simply can't accommodate an uptick right now. Please email your applications for overtime. This week's audit. As many of you know, this week's audit is simply a formality. We are required by law to periodically evaluate current laboratory safeguards for effectiveness and future modernization efforts. Remember that this audit is as beneficial for the city's bookkeeping as it is to keep you and your research safe. We're all playing for the same team here. Please just treat this as a mandatory day off. Nice. This is going to be the same thing. Oh, wait, no, that's different. I would like to remind everyone of the upcoming audit and changes in security. I'm wanting to answer any immediate questions you had. You have, as you're aware, we've had complaints from the NCPD. I know, I know. But we'll have to follow the new guidelines. There's no wiggle room on this. At a time to be decided later, you will all get your new double verification access signatures. You'll each receive individual emails with the relevant details. No more of that reply all funny business. <laughs> Until then, continue your work as normal, of course, excluding the day we have assigned for the audit. Did you know that uh, Microsoft Outlook once went down across the globe because of a reply all issue where uh, I think it was it was used was it across the globe no it wasn't across the globe was it I can't remember it was it was because of a reply all thing uh, where people in Microsoft got a got a message to everyone in Microsoft uh, and then people were clicking reply all and then that was being obviously replied all to everyone in Microsoft and like everyone was doing this I don't know if it was a, I guess it was something that asked for a reply and uh, people were hitting reply all and these emails were going out to everyone from everyone and it like just entirely crashed Outlook I think it, I'm pretty sure it went down across the whole world <laughs> just because of this reply all bug. It might have just been inside Microsoft, but I feel like the reason that I know that story is because it happened everywhere. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But I just thought that was quite funny. Right, it was this cabinet. No. No? What? Is that not, is that not it? It was glowing yellow. Ah. Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. case. Yo! What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force! Oh! Just suspended, actually. Uh, what's she talking about? What does she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yawen, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. Do you want to die? Protocols? I'm talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Can't leave Get without the scrolls. No. We can't leave without Peter Pan's dreams. I'll say it one last time. Out! Damn it, Yawen. Who the fuck do you think you are? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. 
You don't know him well, do you? This man is a bastard. Hasn't let me down yet. River and I get along with friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Huh. I thought us friends too. Is that why you're refusing to help him out? Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. Well, shit. I want to see for myself. I'd like Try to... Try audiovisual stimulation. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Any specific reason why? Any reason you haven't? Because unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. Well, you're about to learn something from River. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try. Just go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. What do you know about Arasaka's relic? Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Oh, uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. More curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks. Interesting. <laughs> I can't jump for some reason. Why have I lost the ability to jump? Man of few okay. words. There we go. Let me hear it. Didn't tell me you got fired, man. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it. Why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a leadhead, don't it? That it do. It's just, um, it's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. Uh. Shouldn't we be looking for Harris's place? You're gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment. It's a house, and I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. And besides, we are trying. I want to see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Yeah, I'm not gonna report you? Not worried Yawin's gonna toe the line, rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Loss. Not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. The one about the <laughs> exam results? You think Yawin will actually help us, all things considered? Yeah. These tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Sign me up for that beer. Sign me up. We find Randy, and we find the bottoms of a few bottles. It'd be my pleasure. Oh, 
far away as this one. <laughs> nice dick. How far away is this one going to be? Turn the radio on, River. <laughs> Lighten the mood in here. Okay, fuck it. Let's skip. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. All right, this is it. It's sure been a while. I used to come over every weekend. Time to go. Yeah, I'm guessing driving out to the Badlands would have taken a while. And changed it all since. Places like this never change. Oh, one sec. My uh, my headset just started beeping at me, which means it needs to be plugged in. Because this headset is very old now, and even though I charged it for fucking hours, it's like, oh, what's that? You've been off charge for an hour? We're out of juice. I really need a new one. I've had this one for... I don't know. Long, long time. Long, long time. Lovely neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Must be pushing like... Seven years, maybe? Something like that? Seven or eight? Still. It has served me well. River. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. Hello. So V, is this about my Randy? Uh, well, he said not to say that, so I'm not gonna. Joss, I, I, I don't know how to say this, but Randy was abducted. What? He said, don't tell her that. But he's alive, right? River! Tell me, damn it! Guy who did it got caught. Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma, being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Arguing's not gonna help anyone. He's my child. You got no place telling me how to behave. Joss. Listen. We need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. You got Let's it. go, V. The kids are playing outside. Tell him it's time to eat. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. He was that bad? That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home... Let me tell you a story. This one time he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead-ass drunk, raging at me for calling the cops on him. Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian home. Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. My husband was killed, the father of my children. I'm... I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. Shit. How'd he die? Thale de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body. Where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. 
You hate to see it. Let's, um, change the subject. Stay strong. Hang in there, Joss. Wait, we said that. Can't be easy raising to What? Why is that still? Well, in fact, there were times. Hmm. That's weird. It was it wasn't grayed out. That's strange. What's on your mind? I think it's good she learned the truth. Money. Got money on my mind. <laughs> That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? Peeling those eyeballs. Sneak! Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? Just a friend. <laughs> it's like they've taken a, an adult model and just shrunk it. Your mom's waiting she, her face care. is very, like, late 20s, early 30s. <laughs> I can't jump again. Why can't I jump? This is their old trailer. Now I, I can. in when I bought them a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, I'll check the trash. Fuck was that noise? Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. You know him well. I used to send him an album every year for his B-Day. No. Locked. Know where the key might be? Nope. <laughs> nice mag. Ballsy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dear Mother Departs. The old die quietly, their dry hands giving a faint rustle as they fall for the last time. They tend to depart this world in November, at the darkest hour of night, when dawn seems just as far off as the spring that will never return. They leave little behind, a small stack of last century's newspapers, a few chipped cups, clothes already smelling of the casket. Under their closed eyelids flits a muted kaleidoscope of memories, flashing by in no particular order. They die with their gaze fixed on the hardening diorama of a long life that, in its final moments, always seems to have been far too short. Where the key, where the key, where the key. I still uh... see the nicks from those first years we measured the kids. Oh. Wait, where? Ah. Got some kind of key here. Real fossil. Not quite what we're looking for. No. Left his favorite hoodie in the closet. Some kind of game here. Shipping code on it. What? Fucking let me see it. God damn it. What was it? I can't reopen it. Motherfucker. Was that it? Get high at home. How old was this kid? I assumed he was like super young if he was like out getting himself kidnapped. But if he's getting high on his own supply, then he's probably not that young. There's nothing else to look at. What are, what are we doing? Am I missing something here? There's like genuinely nothing else left to see. Another ashtray. Can't open that. Can't open that. What, what, uh, don't tell me it's bugged out again. This isn't exactly a big trailer. Where 
Where could I possibly have missed anything? Ah, fuck. Wait, I can't actually, like, get this. Oh. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. Sure ain't. Chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. We gotta get in, but I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Like a fucking egg, mate. Let me give it a shot. Wait, it's already installed. <laughs> it's done. What do you want me to do here? Do I just back out? failed but it's done there's nothing game you fucking buggy piece of shit you are not giving me a sequence to upload so all i can do is quit eureka help me scour this <laughs> failed way. we're in fucking useless uh some kind of cartoon now I can't click on either of these, Something apparently? Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. <laughs> My skin's crawling. Okay, I guess we were waiting for him to say that. Uh, volume 1 of the Blades of Doom trilogy. Chapter 1, Ghosts of Ancestors' Salvation. Is this something that he wrote? Yeah, Randy Kutcher. A silhouette of a gaunt female figure began to take shape among the ebb of the inky fog. By its long braid, the woman held a severed head, only one eye socket clearly visible. Decay had already long begun to melt the face's flesh, exposing the white of bone underneath. The other side fared much better. Then, without uttering a sound, the woman shifted her gaze to pierce the eyes of the weary warrior. Come, kill me. I'm ready for death, she shouted with a cold intensity, prepared, at mu to, <laughs> prepared to meet her end at last. Uh, something about music... Sorry to Anthony. Oh, from Anthony to Randy. They caught Harrison a vehicle like that. I meant to call. Sorry, spent half the day sitting Rocky in my daughter's street. Shit, River. I remember that day. Police had all of Watson blocked off. An old school. And I was stuck in traffic for hours trying to cross town. I kind of live in an area where I used to go to school, but it looks all different now. So trying to find ways past all these jams made it easy to get turned around. Hope you're not mad. Hey, no problem. I needed to help my mum anyway, etc., etc. Do you have everything ready? Almost. Just wanted to say thanks. Guess in general I'm just holding on to the thought Your that there are more people like me out guy, there dealing huh? with the same shit. I used to be like you. Like all of you. I wasn't spared any of life's cruel twists and turns. Worst of it was when my best friend died. Shit, sorry to hear that. Can I ask what happened? Rare muscle disease. His body got weaker and weaker until he was a shadow of himself. Wanted to help him more than anything, but there was just no possible way I could. Of course, anyone who could help he couldn't afford. If he just had the means, he could have bought some super drug or a new body or I don't know. Worse luck than the disease was being born into a poor family. Anyway, that's what I do. That's why I do what I do. I couldn't help my best tune, but just maybe there are some people out in the world I can help. Hey, hope you don't mind. I use my admin privileges to find you, you in real Randy's life. Identity. Send him the game as a present. Oof. The one you found in his drawer? The same. Shipping code suggests the prick sent it from the Badlands. Uh, that is your home address. Sorry, hope it's not too weird, but I had good reason. There's a gift on its way. A game called Big Trouble in Haywood. You know it? Anyway, hope you like it. Fucked up again. I'm I'm toking again. Sorry, I don't know why I keep doing it. I guess this I'm just a piece of shit. Like a pro. You're a perfectly normal person, Randy. You're just like anyone with a, with a organic heart still beating in their chest. Remember, I'm always here to talk to you, to understand you, to help you. I know you'll recover from this like you always have. Oh, it's so creepy reading these. Thanks for yesterday. Oh, from Natalie to Randy. Who's Natalie? The city from up on that tower looks so beautiful. Honestly, I felt speechless. Though maybe that's just because I don't love heights. Really, it was nice. But maybe next time I take you into the city? Head to Japantown, have, grab a bite. You'll love it once you see it. And oh my god, the restaurant my aunt takes me to sometimes? So Nova. Just let me know. Love you, cutie. Yeah, of course. I had fun too. About this restaurant, we'll see. Not sure I'll have time. Hard to promise anything, so we'll see. 
Hey, you know you don't have to worry about eddies. We already talked about this. Just let yourself be invited to something nice for once. Love ya. Mm. Tell you what, I think your site's really mm. Nova. Think I'm ready to you? finally meet up in person. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. Oh, there's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. God. Same time and place you wrote before, because man, I just can't wait now. Ah. That's right. Same as we agreed. Makes me happy to hear you're happy. Just one request. Delete that first email I sent, just in case. Don't want anyone sniffing around something that doesn't concern them. Uh, I understand. I didn't have a normal family either. My mum died young and my dad, he just tried to give me a future. It wasn't easy, though, to make a living on the farm once the cattle pestilence took hold. Eventually, it all just fell out beneath his feet. The cattle, the business deep depression took his life. I tell you this so you know you're not the only one who's lost a father. I understand you so well. The only real difference is it was nomads that stole your dad from you, and for me it was corrupt corpse and their dirty money grabs. That's why I hide all my activity from corpse. Trauma team and biotechnica would be all over me in a second if they knew what I get up to. But I don't have to explain all that to you, Randy. You get it. I know you'll keep all this between us, Chumbers. Stay strong, buddy. Buddy, I know you got it in you. This is pretty fucked. From Randy to Natalie Maybe again. must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? Hey Nat, check out the site Drugs Are Bad. When you're there, click the image, the red one with the people in it. The hell is this? Some kind of cult? How do you even find this? Just cruising the net doesn't matter. Hmm. From Gale to Randy. Hey, you won't answer my text, so I won't answer my hollows. Still alive, man? I have a special delivery from you from a Valentino tomb of mine. You just gotta pick it up. Anyone in Haywood would give both kidneys for this thing, and I'm still holding it for you free of charge like some gunk. Do me a favor and answer, because I'm starting to get pissed. <sighs> Drugs are bad. <sighs> some kind image. of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. Tony's a shelter. Page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. Good to see you, friend. Welcome to Tony's Haven, the place you've been looking for, the place where you can become the best version of yourself thanks to Tony. I live here with my friends. They came here because they were fed up seeing their life go to waste just like you. Think of me as a farmer who looks after his livestock. Get acquainted and stick around. Together we'll show those old farms what we're capable of. No idea what I'm talking about? Don't worry, I'll explain everything in good time. But it's time for you to decide. You want to remain a shadow of yourself or become the person you always dreamed of being? Come on down. Join us. Uh, that's what we just read. Files. There was a file here. Not found. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. Oh, it's the... Name. Wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that? Yeah, it's the, the farm one. Hey, look. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Get his IP address? Uh... How? Can't like click his name or... Hmm, how? I'm just like clicking all over, but not seeing anything. Hmm. Oh, fuck. You have to back out to do it. Definitely. 
could try to pin Anthony's IP address. And it's already done. <laughs> Failed, but actually. Got it. Freddy can't do much more, though. Perfect. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. Says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. <laughs> and, uh, uh, come on. Let's grab a bite. Grab a bite. Sounds like a plan, my dude. However, we're going to have to grab a bite in the next part, because that is all we have time for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time as we try and hunt down this, uh, this missing kid. Thanks for watching. See you then.